بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ میتھڈس دیٹ ار اویلیبل ٹو ریمیڈیٹ کنٹامینیٹڈ اینڈ پولیوٹڈ لینڈس ایز جیسے ہم نے پہلے ذکر کیا کہ بہت سارے ڈفرینٹ میکنزمس ہیں بہت سارے ڈفرینٹ اپروچز ہیں جو کہ یوز کی جا سکتی ہیں ٹو ریکلیم کنٹامینیٹڈ لینڈ فار ایگزامپل وی کین یوز بایولوجیکل مینس بائی یوزنگ مائکرو آرگزم اسپیشلی وی کین یوز ڈفرینٹ کیمیکلس وی کین یوز فزیکل مینس ایز ویل وی کین یوز سولیفیکیشن اینڈ ویٹیفیکیشن اینڈ وی کین آلسو یوز ہیٹ ٹو ڈسٹرائی سرٹن ٹاکسک ہارمفل کمپاؤنڈس تو فرسٹ آف آل لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ بایولوجیکل مینس وچ آر یوز ٹو ریمیڈیٹ لینڈس دس انوالو دا ٹرانسفارمیشن اور منرلائزیشن آف کنٹامینٹس ٹو لیس ٹاکسک اینڈ مور موبائل فارمس کیا کرتے ہیں اس میں ہم ہم مائکرو آرگزمس اور بیکٹیریا وغیرہ یوز کرتے ہیں تاکہ جو ڈفرینٹ ٹاکسک کمپاؤنڈس ہیں جو کہ اس سوائل میں یا اس سائٹ میں پریزنٹ ہیں ان کو ڈسٹرائی کر کے کر کے لیس ٹاکسک فارم میں لے آئیں اور اکثر ہماری کوشش یہ بھی ہوتی ہے کہ وہ لیس ٹاکسک فارم جو ہے وہ زیادہ موبائل ہو زیادہ موبائل سے مراد یہ ہے کہ اس کی موومنٹ زیادہ ہو فار ایگزامپل وہ واٹر مکس ہو کے زیادہ موو کر سکے سو دیٹ اٹ کین بی ایزیلی ریموڈ فرام دیٹ سائڈ دس کین انکلوڈ فکسیشن اور اکومولیشن ان ہارویسٹیبل بایو میس کراپس سو ڈفرینٹ مینس سے یہ اچیو کیا جا سکتا ہے مائکرو آرگزمس کین بی یوز ڈفرینٹ پلانٹس کین آلسو بی یوز یو کین سی ہیئر اکومولیشن ان ہارویسٹیبل بایو میس کراپس سرٹن کراپس سرٹن پلانٹس آر دیئر Uh, which can accumulate certain toxic substances in their mass. So once they have accumulated their, the toxic substances in their mass, the plants, the crops can be removed, thus indirectly removal of the pollutant from the site. Now there are certain advantages of using biological means to remediate lands. For example, <clears throat> it can destroy a wide range of organic compounds. Both sides of organic compounds can destroy by using different microorganisms and by using different biochemical uh, processes that are operated in the microorganisms. These microorganisms, these biological processes can cause benefit to the soil structure and fertility. Both are such microorganisms that produce such compounds that produce the soil structure and fertility. And these processes are non-toxic. In se koi secondary pollution nahi cause hoti, koi iska side effect nahi hai environment ke upar. So these are uh, green strategies. But there are certain disadvantages as well. For example, the process end point can be uncertain and difficult to gauge. Hame ye nahi idea hota ki ye process kis sath tak operate karega aur kis sath tak hume success achieve hogi. Uh, and we cannot measure it exactly. Treatment can be slow. When we use biological means to degrade certain compounds or to reclaim land to remediate it, The process is slow. It can take a while to achieve the results. Not all contaminants are conducive to treatment by biological means. किसी भी polluted land में बहुत सारे contaminants हो सकते हैं और जरूरी नहीं हर contaminant जो वहाँ मौजूद है उसके ऊपर हम different biological means के through remediate कर सकें उसको. There are so many compounds which cannot be remediated by biological means. So therefore, uh, it is a disadvantage. And for those chemical compounds, for those compounds. We have to look to other means. We can also use chemical compounds to remediate lands and to, to solve uh, uh, the toxicity present in those lands. Uh, toxic compounds are destroyed, fixed or neutralized by chemical reactions by using different chemical compounds. There are certain advantages related with the use of chemicals to remediate uh, lands and sites. For example, destruction of biological recastant chemicals is possible. بہت سارے ایسے کمپاؤنڈس ہیں جو ہم نے ابھی لاسٹ ڈسکس کیا کہ ایسے کمپاؤنڈس ہیں جو کہ بایولوجیکلی ان کو ڈیگریڈ نہیں کیا جا سکتا دوز آر ری کاسٹرینڈ وین وی یوز بایولوجیکل مینس سو دوز کمپاؤنڈس کین بی ٹریٹڈ بائی یوز آف ڈفرینٹ کیمیکلس ٹاکسک سبسٹینسز کین بی کیمیکلی کنورٹیڈ ٹو ایدر مور اور لیس بایولوجیکلی اویلیبل فارمس وین وی یوز کیمیکلس ٹو ٹریٹ ریمیڈیٹ سائٹس وٹ ہیپنس از دیٹ دا ٹاکسک کمپاؤنڈس آر ڈیگریڈیڈ and they are converted into either uh, more biologically available compounds or less biologically available compounds isse murad kya hai isse murad ye hai ki agar koi aisa compound hai jo ke uh, is now much more biologically available it means ki us wah us site mein maujood jitne bhi life hai jitne bhi microorganisms hain ya plants hain wo usko easily uptake kar sakte hain usko easily interact kar sakte hain however if there is a compound which is which has low biological uh, availability It means the compound is not available uh, to the flora and fauna present over there. So it depends on us what we want to do and what kind of results we want to achieve. If we want to convert a toxic compound into a less toxic compound, 
which can be easily uptaken by the plants present over there. We would like to use such a chemical that not only destroys the toxic compound but also makes it more biologically available. There are certain disadvantages as well when we use chemicals to remediate sites. For example, they can be possible in complete treatment. We are not sure how much chemical we want to use and what should be the concentration of the chemical. So, uh, incomplete treatment can always be there. The reagents themselves can cause damage to the environment. When we chemical reagents use kar rahe hai to remediate the site, those chemical reagents themselves are basically uh, foreign agents to the site and they can cause toxicity and certain other problems to the environment. Uh, we can also use several physical means to remediate lands. Physical means, as the name indicates, we are not using any biology or any chemicals. So, what do we do? Uh, basically, uh, we try to excavate, we make trenches, or we use any other physical means, which we through uh, in chemical compounds. Ko remove kiya ja sakta hai. But again, as you can see, basically, it is, a remo it is the removal of the uh, toxic harmful compound and substances it is not the degradation uh, it is not the uh, breaking down of those compounds so that's why uh, when we use physical means it is not true remediation there are certain advantages which are attached when we use physical means to remediate a land or a site for example as we are using purely physical approach uh, we are not adding any reagent so there is no side effect on the environment and it significantly reduces the risk of secondary contamination. Because proper, true, pure physical means are used, so secondary contamination or secondary uh, uh, risks are not associated. But again, there are certain disadvantages attached when we use physical means to remediate sites. For example, contaminants are not destroyed. We have said that it is not true remediation. It is just removal of the contaminants. So, contaminants are not destroyed when we use physical means to remediate lands. And the concentration achieved inevitably requires containment measures and further treatment. Physical means say, when we remove karenge, bhi chemical substance, ko, harmful substance, ko, to uski jitni bhi concentration we have achieved, we have to do it. 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 We have to do now we want to treat it further. We actually want to destroy it or make it less toxic. So further downstream process is always needed when we employ physical means to remediate lands. Now other methods could be solidification and vitrification as the name indicates. Uh, we try to uh, solidify, we try to encapsulate uh, the harmful substances in uh, these strategies. It is uh, the basically encapsulation of the contaminants within a monolithic solid of high structural integrity with or without associated chemical fixation. There are so many different strategies which can be employed when we use solvification and vitrification. Uh, but uh, we are trying to achieve ultimately is we want to uh, kind of separate uh, the toxic substances, the harmful substances from the site. Now vitrification uses high temperatures to fuse contaminated materials. So uh, either we can just uh, uh, solidify it we can just remove it by using certain uh, capsule or solid monolithic layer or we can also apply heat and we can fuse the uh, toxic compounds together as well thus making them uh, much more unavailable to the environment. There are certain advantages uh, attached with these uh, techniques uh, for example toxic elements and or compounds which cannot be destroyed are rendered unavailable to the environment. We have also that many compounds are which can biologically destroy you. If you want to use chemicals, uh, those might be destroyed. On the other hand, the chemicals themselves are harmful to the environment. So such chemicals can be rendered unavailable to the environment by using these strategies. But they are again disadvantages. For example, contaminants are not actually destroyed. We don't actually destroy them. We are limiting them to their availability hai to the environment and to the flora and fauna present in the environment usko hum limit kar rahe hain usko hum reduce kar rahe hain but we are not actually destroying the contaminants the second advantage could be the significant, significant amounts of reagents are required and not suitable for organic contaminants obviously high cost is there because we want to input certain reagents we want to input certain energy in the form of heat as well uh, so it is not cost effective now thermal approach is there as well in which we heat 
द टॉक्सिक कंपाउंड्स एंड द टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस इन ऑर्डर टू रेमिडिएट देम इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्ट्रॉय देम सो कंटेमिनेट्स आर डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय हीट ट्रीटमेंट यूजिंग इंसिनरेशन गैसिफिकेशन पायरोलिसिस और वोलेटाइजेशन प्रोसेसेस ऑल दिस प्रोसेसेस एम्प्लॉय हीट एंड ड्यू टू दिस प्रोसेसेस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल कंपाउंड्स एंड अदर सच टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस कैन बी डिग्रेडेड एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड ऑब्वियसली हमने प्रीवियस लेसंस में भी डिस्कस किया when we use such type of uh, approaches for example incineration and all uh, they do lead to certain pollution for example atmospheric pollution can be there the advantage is obviously the contaminants are most effectively destroyed jab hum incinerate karte hain usko ya usko heat ke through treat karte hain to usme almost ultimately uski complete destruction achieve ho sakti hai but the disadvantages are obviously high cost is there because we want to input a lot of energy in the form of heat सो बहुत सही कॉस्ट उसमें चाहिए अनसटेबल फॉर मोस्ट टॉक्सिक एलिमेंट्स बहुत सारे टॉक्सिक एलिमेंट्स ऐसे हैं जिनको अगर हम हीट किया जाए तो दे कैन प्रोड्यूस सम अदर कंपाउंड्स विच आर वर्टल कंपाउंड्स विच इज नॉट अ गुड आइडिया सॉयल ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एंड दस एटलीस्ट सम ऑफ द सॉयल स्ट्रक्चर इट सेल्फ कैन भी डिस्ट्रॉयड अक्सर केसेस में अगर हम सॉयल को इंस्टेट कर रहे हैं तो उसके अंदर बहुत सारे इंपॉर्टेंट केमिकल कंपाउंड हो सकते हैं और सॉयल का स्ट्रक्चर इट that can be damaged as well when we apply the thermal treatment these were uh, the treatments that we can use to remediate different polluted sites i'll see you in next lessons